Servo. Check me out. Cool. I am ready. Well, I'm sorry, Mike. Well, there, you just did it again. What the... What Hi, everyone. The... Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Servo and I here, we're just talking. Look, and... I didn't mean to turn you on, and I'm really sorry. Uh, well, you know, ever since Robert Palmer introduced the concept of accidental turn-ons in his song, I didn't mean to turn you on, well, there's been a lot of involuntary on-turning around here. Hey there, guys. What's up? The crow! Oh, no! Did I just turn you on again? Yes, you know you did. Jeez. Oh, I... I am sorry. I tried not to turn you on, but uh -huh. I guess I unintentionally did. You know, let's really all try sorry. to be a little more careful about turning each other on, okay? That's sure, Mike. That's right, Mike. Yeah. And you folks at home, be a little more careful. Don't involuntarily turn anyone on, okay? We'll be yeah. right back. Uh, Mike! Uh, hey, did geez. I turn you on? I well, didn't to look, look at me. How did I turn you on? I'm just standing here. How did I turn you on? Why are you No, no, now there! There, you did so mean to turn me on that time! Okay, I admit it. I turned you on on purpose, okay? Because I was upset, so I turned you on. So big to you. Well, now oh. you just turned me on. Can't you do anything without turning people on? It's oh, just, that's I nice. I can't believe it. You after well, you turned me on. So I did not you your did. You well, now turned you turned me on. You turned me on. You couldn't turn me on if you had a dozen naked Gerardos and Fabio in tight leather pants. Uh, where, where was I? Oh, right. I'm remodeling the Great Hall. I'm putting in a conversation pit. And the couch I had picked out for it came in early. So I need you guys to store it for me. Brain guy? Yes, madam. And no jumping on the couch. Hey. 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 Thanks, Grandma Pearl. Watch, you guys. I'm going to do something cool. You can see my legs. You can see my legs. <laughs> Grandma Pearl does not want you jumping on that couch. Get off right now. Don't, don't squeeze those juice boxes on that couch. <laughs> juice, are you uh, spreading all over everything? It's great. <laughs> oh, we can't have nice things. That's it. That is it. I am going to give you such a movie. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Bubble, brain guy, get the movie. <gasps> no! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> huh? We have ways of dealing with ne'er-do-wells who insist on jumping on our rent-to-own couches. Your movie ah! is called <laughs> Pearl, please, whatever you're thinking, please don't. We, 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 it was my fault. We made us do it. I'm sorry, sorry my fault. Come on, it's not. <laughs> I'm scared. Hey, presents, good. Uh, oh, oh, well, that oh, should be. No. Uh oh, no. <laughs> I'm very afraid. Ah, badly lit warehouse. I feel better already. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You got Pringles in his shoes? Proof that janitors walk upright. The true story of Neil Peart. Oh. Dennis. Dennis. I want to play tennis. Hey, what gives? You're being paid to work around here. Oh. Not to sit around and blast your eardrums. Hey, 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 take it easy. I can do both. Is this coach's brother here? Hello? Hello? Uh. Didn't you hear the phone ringing? 
What did uh, No, I didn't. They've already hung up. Hey. Well, then it couldn't have been too important, huh? Don't you have any sense of responsibility? That could have been a very important call. At this hour? In the future, would you just answer the phone, no matter what hour it is, and not make your own decisions about what's important and what isn't? Yeah, yeah, right, right. It's time for our rounds. Oh, they're doctors. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, uh -huh. got it. Oh. Damn it, why aren't you old? <laughs> He's the abusive grandpa I never had. Cameraman just can't get up the energy to get over there. Yep, yep. And here's my secret stash of Cheetos, Dr. Pepper, and back issues of Cosmo. Jimmy Stewart and Rex Smith in Breaking In. He's really my mentor. He taught me how to truly love a woman from across the street through a telescope. <laughs> Yep, I used to be Robert Frost, you know. So, it's a security guard training film. You know, I think we actually are fully qualified security guards yeah, now. I'd love to get out of the rat race and guard a you store it for a while. Oh, mm, yeah. That'd be great. I just want to measure and see if you'll fit in the incinerator. Uh, it's weird to think we were once married. Did, did I ever tell you what this studio was like when I first started here? Yeah, more than once. Oh, it used to be one of the busiest lots in town. <laughs> it's a real private metropolis oh, now. Oh, man, his oh, pants no, are coming no, at no, me. No, no. Oh. oh! Wait a minute, what's this down here? Oh, it's, uh, it's just an old film of all. Yeah. There's nothing down there. Well, yeah, well, why don't we check it anyway? No. I'm telling you, there's nothing down there. And I'm not going to waste my time checking it out. Pants. Oh, man. <laughs> what is it now? I need to talk to you now. Well, I can't right now. I'm Kalaki, get in here. And remember what I said? It would have been safer. Okay, then I say dress in hot pants from now on. Whoa, what is that stain? Ooh. Is he thawing a box of frozen peas under his arm? Okay, so what? Now he becomes a Jedi Knight? Why am I sitting here? Jeez. Take it easy, take it easy. Man, that stain was unbelievable. <laughs> He's playing the organ with his head. That bank door killed a man. So there's nothing down here. You wily old fox. <laughs> I wonder what they keep in here. It's a secret blow-comb storehouse. Yoo-hoo! Mr. McCready! I need another yoo-hoo! <laughs> I wonder if he knows his face looks like that. <laughs> he can't. You should tell him. Oh, Burgess Meredith's in there reading. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, my sunken chest and string beanie arms. Maybe the great Karnak answers our steward in there. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Go all the way in there, slam the door firmly behind you, and die. Good. Wow, these honor system banks are just never going to make it. This poor guy was edged out of every decent role by Grant Goodeve. <laughs> What's he going to get mauled by $100 bills? Do something! Huh? Oh, shouldn't have skipped lunch. Hey, somebody there? I mean, besides you, Cerebus. Oh, David Crosby's eating in there. Is somebody there? Does he have his pants on backwards? Leaf Garrett in The Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, flat butt. You know, he's already got Loverboy beat as a live act. 
Yep, now his big rock anthem about minimum wage. Oh, oh. You know, this is a real cheap biopic of Jim Morrison. Mm -hmm. We're on the road to nowhere. I'll say. Come on inside. Oh, the show's starting. Yay, yay, yay. Mike, if I run out of vomit, can I have some of yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just sing the St. Elmo's Fire theme song and get it over with. Oh, he tried to crowd surf, but no one wanted to touch him. Hey, it's Carl Lewis. But, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I feel okay. The crowd threw beef gravy on him. Oh, poor kid, and he had so little promise. Member FDI murder. Death guaranteed for up to 50,000. Die! <laughs> oh, what do I put on my timesheet for this? Hey, the end credits! Well, it was a terrible movie, at least it was short. Oh, right. These are the beginning credits. Oh, well, then oh. kill me, please. <laughs> please. Ah, the king of the Wisconsin Dells finally gets a movie. <laughs> Paige Sullivan! <laughs> Steven bogs this whole movie down. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Oh, the cheap sequel to Billy Jack. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Is she related to Wacky Tea Backy? <laughs> and I'm leaving. No, I just... throw, come on, no, come back. No, just, just don't try so hard. Come on. Here. Here you go. Uh, Carrie. French. <laughs> I bet she loves that dressing. <laughs> Sorry, I hate myself. Goodbye. No, Crow, get back here. Get James back. Mayberry, RFD. Oh, I hate myself, too. Come on, get back <laughs> in here. Can. Come on, Crow. Hey, Servo, no. Come, no, come no, on. No. Uh, I can't, I can't, Mike. I'm out of here. <laughs> sit, no, no, sit no, no. back. Don't sit. sit. Oh, Crow. Come on. No, no, I can't no, take it. Get back in. <laughs> sit, sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> sit, come. Get, 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 no, get back in here. Sit down. <laughs> Come on. No, don't. Come back here. Come on. No, no. We're going to sit down. We're going to calm down. We're going to watch this movie. Okay. Don't do it. So, Kevin, hmm. is this the first time that you've worked as a security guard? Yes, sir. But I'm a very fast learner, and I promise to try extra hard. And... I really need the job. And I have a PhD in security. You sound very mature for your age. Oh, shucks. Uh, you don't own one of those portable radios with headphones, do you? Or one of those horseless carriages. <laughs> That's good. I think we'll get along just fine. Oh, shucks. Now, are you ready for your first tour of the lot? Oh, oh yes, sir. Uh, even prepared to take notes. <laughs> It's not that complicated. JFK Jr. could do it. <laughs> uh, these are the stairs. Stairs are your hip's worst enemies. You've never been on a studio lot like this before, have you? No, sir. Well, it's not that difficult to keep track of. Uh, there isn't much goes on here Pants anymore. again. Well, how long have you been working here? Oh, quite a while. Pants in the face. About... 30 years, actually. And I never missed a day and had to have someone fill in for me. Pathetic. Okay. 30 years? It's amazing. Well, not really. You know, time becomes sort of a blur when you reach a certain age. Uh -huh. Sometime I'll tell you what this place was like when it was still a functioning studio. I'd like to hear about that. I'll also tell you about my problematic urethra, if you'll follow me. <laughs> yes, we paid for this wing with the profits from DC Cab. Now, Kevin, if I told you that something was very important, you'd listen to me, wouldn't you? Of course. Oh, good. Now, there is a part of this lot that I want you to stay away from. I don't want to have to explain all the details to you. I just want you to promise to stay clear from it. I understand. And I don't really care, anyway. <laughs> now, this is the part I was telling you about. This is where we keep Clint Howard and Michael J. Pollard. What's down there? Oh, it's just a lot of dangerous machinery. Now, don't go in there and take a chance of injuring yourself. Do you understand? 
Yeah. Good. Now, I don't want to have to remind you a second time. Just stay clear of this area. In fact, just sit at your desk and don't do anything. Sometimes Catherine Hepburn shows up. We have to chase her out of here. So, is there anything else I need to be made aware of? There is one other thing. You should know you'll have to apply a series of ointments to me regularly. He's got his outdoor eyebrows on now. <laughs> this is what I was telling you about. Use it to kill Archduke Ferdinand. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. I, I've never had to use it. Really? That's right. Not in all the years I've been here. Had to wing Gloria Swanson once. I would like to show you how to use it sometime, though. You never know when you might need it. You never know when a relay race will show up at the front gate. <laughs> smells like Jack Ruby. <laughs> I resign. The best words I ever said. Paint my muscle car prune colored, please. <laughs> ah, the dangerous loner model home. Hi. Not now. Your friends are here. How do you read a record? Hey, how's it going? Well, I'll come over there so you can maybe answer me. Oh, would you bring some new music? No, I just rented a videotape that Amy and I were going to watch. Well, that was very nice. Let me see what you got. What? Don't you ever get any tapes from the adult section? My boyfriend would never bring me a tape that didn't have at least a single X rating. <laughs> oh. Well, Kevin isn't like that. He would never want me to see anything that was rated X. Would you? No, I wouldn't. Scram, it's the owner of the house. We have to shoot the movie somewhere else. Flash of fish. All right, man. I'd recognize that horn anywhere. That's my Nick, back from two months of army training. And you know what a man wants when he's been away for two months? Hmm? No, what does he want? <laughs> Belly dancing lessons? <laughs> Dear. Wow. Oh. Oh. Two months! So, um, that was sex? Whoa, everybody have sex tonight. Everybody throw <laughs> up tonight. Wish that were up to me, Did you say something? No, no. Ironically, no one in the band Wang Chung had sex that night. <laughs> Why did Mark Roscoe do this room? Oh, yeah. And then we spent all afternoon studying hand-to-hand -hand combat. I know about the techniques you have with your hands. Tell us about something else. <laughs> yeah, can we change the subject already? Why don't you pay attention and maybe you'll learn something? Nick is protecting our country and you're just guarding some run-down, deserted dump. What did you say? Help me. Why don't you be nice to Nick and maybe he'll teach you something? Yeah, I can teach you all about hand-to-hand -hand combat. No problem. Yeah. Oh, go on, I know you can do it. Look, I said I wasn't interested, okay? Come on. I want to get away from Skull Woman anyway. You know, this place has real garbage house potential. Come on, don't want to do this. Here, take this. Choose your garden weasel. Okay, no, 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 hold like this. Full contact mulching, I guess. Now block every move that I make. I'm gonna take it really slow on you. So watch out. Go for the first one! Wow. Go, Nick, kick his butt! Yeah, give him a big rusty gash in his head. Come on! Uh, can we have a law that in the future films have to be made by filmmakers? <laughs> oh, is that a condom she has hanging from her blouse? Oh. Getting so sweaty already. So we sent our armies to the Gulf War with garden shovels and grass rollers? Their garden tools make little Casio sounds. Yeah, go for it! Yeah, really, really kill him! Please! You know, I'd switch to the weed whacker at this point. Throw some miracle grow in his eyes! I'm gonna compost you, man. Ooh. Oh, the tension. Yeah. Will they water their lawn? Wow. Ever. I'll bet Nick can also field strip his rake blindfolded. 
movie's making me nostalgic for the film Jim Cotta. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it just happened. Did you see that? The yeah. hose outacted him. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> Did you know that Nick went on to play Pong in his underwear while drinking beer? <laughs> hey, hooray, you ruptured his spleen. Yay! Now I'm going to remove your thatch. Don't let them hurt my red shards, please. Oh, wow. I could watch this forever. Yeah. You know, I have a feeling I probably will be. Yeah. yeah. So does Hardware Hank have a major defense contract? or? Nick's <laughs> also a black belt in whack-a-mole. Ah, <laughs> that's neat. Welcome home, Nick. Come on! Yes! Now Nick's gonna declare martial law, loot his museums, and call in an airstrike. My hero! Oh. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whew, you know, there hasn't been such a glorious battle since the Arnold Stang Wally Cox fight of 1958. You really humiliated me. Huh? What? I didn't even want to do oh, that. Oh, look. Oh, 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 how was I supposed to win, Amy? I've never even done this before. It was an unfair match. You looked really pathetic. Okay, grab a rake. Let's go. What do you want me to do for you? I want you to make me proud. Pee Wee Herman, casual wear. I made love in their Chevy van, and that's not all right with me. <laughs> or me. Chevy <laughs> that Hey, Mike, given the incredibly depraved attitude regarding women in today's movie, I knew you'd want me to make a short film for boys and young men, teaching them how to treat the fairer sex with a proper and healthy respect. Uh, Mike. Mike. Uh, yeah, sure. Huh. So, uh, good, because I went ahead and did it anyway, and hopefully it'll help just a little. Let's watch. Ah, uh, women. Women, 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 women. <laughs> For you young fellows, fresh on the cusp of a blooming manhood, the questions abound. What are women like? What do women want? How should I treat a woman? Perhaps the thorniest problem facing any young man is finding a woman in the first place. It turns out to be nearly impossible. This reporter spent countless hours searching for a woman, like these pictured here, to no avail. The nearest we came during a tense stakeout was this fellow, who experts believe is not a woman. We begin to wonder, where are all the women? The overheated references in poetry, the images that dominate our media. Is it all an elaborate fraud? This grainy photograph is the only direct evidence we have of a woman in her natural environment. The longer hair, the gentle and nurturing demeanor are typical of how witnesses describe their supposed encounters with women. This footprint, while possibly the work of jokesters, is another piece of the puzzle, and it is hard to discount this man's terrifying story. And then, uh, this woman, well, I think it was a woman, she, uh, married me. Did you have any children, sir? I don't remember. Someday, perhaps, an actual woman will emerge. And they will no longer exist, only in the realm of myth. And maybe. Thank you. <sighs> oh, um, yeah, so, anyway, Mike, in conclusion, um, in the off chance that you do run into a woman, uh, you know, treat her with respect and stuff. Okay. You yeah. know, Crow, you do know women, though. What about Pearl? Okay, so one woman exists. That means all women exist? Uh, we'll be right back. Name me one other woman. Go well, ahead. Heck. What's the matter, Kevin? I got a three on the GED. It's really a long story. 
I've got all the time in the world. Well, okay, then. Call me Ishmael. I... Uh... What do you do about someone who you can never make happy? Son, you make me very happy. Is this your girlfriend we're talking about? Uh, no, I can't make my hamster happy. What do you think? I don't know what to tell you. What's the exact problem? Can I loosen her up for you? <laughs> no. Well, we've got this friend who's in the army. Oh, Omar Bradley? And my girlfriend's upset because I couldn't do all the things that he can. Like join racist groups. I see. Did I ever tell you what I did when I was in the army? I was Tokyo Road. No. Oh, it's also a long story. Uh, that'll be Kevorkian. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. Ah, and some guy sneaking around like a silent film villain. Looks like Dana Gould. Yeah. Hey. Wait here. I'll call you if I need you. But, Mr. McCready... I said to wait. Turn on your baby minder. Hey, the Kirk Cameron Show. Where is the same speed on the Ventura Freeway? Bullish. Now for seniors. I'll get that guy, but first I'll just stop at the Bishop's Buffet here. Take on me, take me on. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. Oh. Oh. Mm, I don't like the old guy getting killed channel. <laughs> If found, please return to Hunter Thompson. I don't like the way you greeted me at Walmart. Get away from him. You Menendez brother wannabe. Is this your grandson? <coughs> no, he's my partner. I said... Uh, darn, what was it again I said? Get away from him. Yeah. Who are you kidding? You don't know how to use that. All right, so I didn't plug it in. You got me. Marks? Uh, great, you just took out Air Force One, you dope. <laughs> Are you okay? You want me to call an ambulance? No, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Damn. What's the matter? I just wish Amy could have been here to see what I just did. I shot a starter pistol and wind out another line. He's still on the line. What do we do now? Well, I'm going to call the police. Try to locate where he is, but keep a distance from him. Don't try to be a hero. <laughs> I'd better call Grandma. Tell her I'm okay. This is Captain Kangaroo. Come in, Mr. Moose. So did the ad for the job read, Wanted, whiny, half-wit coward. <laughs> I just want to be brave for my horrible, frigid, non-supportive girlfriend. When I find him, I'm going to make him sign in so bad. Serpico. Dirty Harry. Jake Giddis. Kevin. <laughs> this place is packed with garden tools. Mr. McCready? Hello? 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 Where the machinery is? No. I think he went down there. I'm going in for a closer look. Hello, who's this? Sit, stay. Carl Sandberg, P.I. God. The vault. I've got a lobby against Medicare cuts immediately. Kevin, stop whatever you're doing. Don't go near the vault. No matter what you do, don't go near the vault. This is Old Guy Radio, W-O-L-D. W-O-L-D. The vault turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. <laughs> Sister Kevin Prejean. <laughs> I want to make you proud. I'm going to break into Jack Benny's piggy bank. Now tell me again why they have an elaborate security system, but they don't lock anything. I don't know it. Ah, he's found Ben Stein's money. Money. This is where the years of mall walking pays off. 
I mean, they don't even have a twist tie on the door. <laughs> Gee. Uh, script to Billy Madison 2 was kept hidden in here. <laughs> but... Ow, what, what am I doing? Ow, ow, oh, cross my soul. I'm crossed. I'm bad. Where did I leave my egg salad sandwich? Oh. Hmm. Locked? Nah. Buddy Epson, triathlete. Papillon? Hi, the door was open. Oh, Taz got out. you're really old. I mean, would you listen to you? Enough with the Count Chocula music. Jeez. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. Come on. Follow me to the band room. Goblins, there. four hours in. Yep. What have they done with Casey Martin? Oh, Thunder Road. Yeah, a real smooth ride, good steering, I like it. I went to Michael Spinks's barber, okay? Here, try some pole dancing. They ripped out the tape player. Oh, if you only knew what you just did. Oh. I don't understand. What just happened? The vault. I, I tried to warn you. Those creatures. The, the vault. I tried. Sentence fragments. Just phrases. <laughs> All my work. 30 years I've been trying to prevent this from happening. To, to prevent what from happening? But those creatures, why, why do you think I spent the last 30 years of my life here? Low SATs? I was keeping them from escaping. <laughs> you know, I was young when I began to work here. <laughs> and the studio was, was busy and prosperous. Now I sound like Joseph Campbell. I always remember the night that it happened. Golf carts were bigger then. It was then. late. There was hardly anyone around. William Holden had just passed out. I didn't even know what it was at first. It was all so fast, just a flash of light and a sudden explosion. <laughs> I stepped out to see what it was, but there was no one else there except for me. I had the popular Jerry Orbach hairstyle back then. It was right in the middle of the lot. If it had been daytime, it probably would have been crushed in all the traffic. I just stared at it for a long time. I didn't know what to make of it. And then suddenly it moved. <laughs> and out from the top of the disc came this small creature, a sort of hobgoblin. Uh -huh. It looked around, and then it stared right at me. At this point, I hadn't yet reacted. I didn't move. I, I just kept watching it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that's what happened. So yeah, yeah, uh -huh, first. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 uh-huh. If only I'd known what lay ahead. But that's Monday morning security guarding. But I still don't understand. <laughs> I let the creatures live on the lot. It was my secret. And then I learned of the power they had. Uh -huh. I still don't know if they figured they were doing good for people or not. So I married one to check it out. They slowly began to destroy everyone on the lot. They would find a person, tap into his brain, and then create his wildest fantasy. Yeah. It seemed harmless at first. Uh -huh. I mean, watching everyone around me becoming rich, uh -huh. famous. Uh -huh. But for most people, what they really want in life can be very dangerous. In fact, the creatures wound up destroying everyone, everyone they came in contact with. Luckily, all I wanted was a good thermos. They're, they're loose in the city now. But you could warn everyone. Mm. They'd listen to your story. Mm. Would they? No one believed me 30 years ago. 
I went straight to the head of the studio and tried to explain it to him. He didn't believe me. No one did. <sighs> I just watched helplessly as people around me were destroyed one but, by one. Uh, uh, what can we do? Oh, I, I'm too old to catch up with them now, but you might still have a chance. There aren't very many of them, but they move quickly. Just remember, they're attracted to bright lights. That's how you can find them. Mm. Watch everyone around you. When a person begins to act strangely, it means that one of the creatures have tapped into his mind. When this happens, the creature is never far away. Find it and kill it before it's too late. Because when the creature dies, the fantasy ends and the victim is safe. Well, Now remember, they're only attracted to bright light. That's how you find them. But you must destroy them all before dawn, because once it's daylight, it's too late. Bright, bright light. You'll right. never be able to stop them. Uh, great, Gramps. Uh, I'm going to go see if the colonel's hiring. Huh. He never asked me about my grandchildren. Hey, don't scratch the quarter flash. Why the Ross Perot doll? <laughs> It's the 80s. Do a lot of coke and vote for Ronald Reagan. Uh, Larry Wilcox is going to make a cameo, isn't he? Say, is that haircut 100 they're playing? Invest in arbitrage and read J. McInerney. I think we stumbled onto Mel's rock pile. <laughs> Meet the Hobgoblins, Frankie, Sniffles, Bounce Bounce, and the Claw. On two and break. Uh, they're having an all-girls night. Cardboard, I recognize it anywhere. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Make that three hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> Later. Okay, olive oil. Much later. Ooh. That's weird. I'm not having sex right now. Maybe circling the block or something. <laughs> she looks like Michael Bolton. I bought your jacket. <sighs> I thought you might be cold out here. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for your stinking kindness. Where's Mick? I, I thought I heard his horn before. Well, so you did lady. well, maybe you should wait inside until you see him. He's just looking for a place Libby, to park. Who, go back in the we, house. Uh, right. There's plenty of parking in front. Maybe it wasn't his horn. Look, I'm positive it was. Maybe wow. the police just pulled him over for wow. all his warrants or something. No, wow. just go back in the house. Fine, yeah. I get the message. Just take this stupid jacket with you. You and your stupid thoughtfulness can go to hell. <laughs> Damn it, Nick, where the hell are you? It's a praying mantis in a party dress. Oh, no, it's her, sorry. Anybody out here will do, really. I mean. <gasps> Don King! Oh. Amy, would you just go back in the house and leave me alone? I see your point. Yes, I agree. Would you stop breathing all over me? <laughs> Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. Oh, no, we're, we're simply depending on the integrity of the fabric at this point. Oh. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to get off you. My claws are stuck. Could you help out? She must be happy to see him. Oh, please make the be titanium control panels in those pantyhose. The historic first meeting of Luke and Laura. <laughs> Work him into the soil, that's right. Yep. When threatened, she gains the strength of a thousand trollops. <laughs> Tell him Lorraine Newman's in town. After my date with Prince, I went right home. Honestly, couldn't Nick wait? Who's this Nick? Is there another man in your life? Someone's rubbing puppets on us! Oh, man. Ugh, you know, Nick's a fun guy, but he parallel parks so slowly. Oh, 
polar bears are attacking. We hate Qantas. Grr. There's a girl touching me. Yuck. <laughs> if you just let go, they'll hit the floor. One of the towering heroes of Grenada. Go on, it's like a new dance. The army was looking for sharp people, and Nick qualified. It's pretty kinky. <laughs> hey, guys. Can you stay under here or something wild and under the cold blue? No, I'm here to take you out. Oh, it's so rad. I don't like Sherry Lewis's new show. No. <laughs> I do a lot of sit-ups. Oh. <laughs> Nick, lift your armpit at him. Just tell us how to change the music. Okay, we'll take your literature, but we're trying to watch our program right now. <laughs> oh, Nick's in the French army, I see. <laughs> Ah, uh, time for my hourly shave. I knew I'd find use for this. So the army just hands out grenades, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Open the door. Stand back. Oh my god, what do you call that? Urban renewal. Aha, and what brisk witticism will this chappie have to offer? <laughs> Look at nothing. Look at the nothing down oh, there. there you go. Nothing. <laughs> ah, we drank your bond water. <laughs> Hey, what up there, Russell Crowe? Oh, I've set up a crisis hotline for people who've been traumatized by watching this film. Oh. Hey, hey! A customer! People and robots who've had to watch the movie Hobgoblin's Crisis Hotline, hello! Oh, oh, yes, hello. Uh, I am in a deep crisis, which is very, very deep. And I need to know you won't hang up on me like all those other crisis hotlines. Ah, have no fear. <laughs> I can handle anything. Um, it is related to watching the movie Hobgoblins, right? Oh, 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 yes, of course, it relates to watching the movie Hop Goblins, that's why I called it. So, well, anyway, so one day, I was watching the movie Hop Goblins one day, when I realized, that while watching the movie Hop Goblins, that uh, I was in love with a woman very close to me. A, a woman not of my species. Ugh, 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 oh. that is disgusting. Ugh, I need a shower now, yuck. Oh, wait, don't hang up. I need her, uh, though she can be very mean to me. I'm obsessed with her. I want her in every way, uh, emotionally, spiritually, physically. <laughs> Yuck, stop telling me this, you freak. I'm going to be sick all over the place. Hang up. Um, uh, I have another call. Uh, see ya. No, I'll die without her. She's a chimpanzee and her name is Emily. And I don't care if it would... Hello? Ah, rats, another hang up. Well, let's see who's next on the list. Butterball, turkey, hotline. Oh, boy. I mean, why do these people even call if they have nothing but twisted, perverted filth on their minds? I think it must be your radiant compassion that draws them. <laughs> Probably <laughs> right, actually. Movie time! Bad, huh? <clears throat> Man, can those little guys submissively urinate? Hey, that looks like a good jumping couch. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I need to cash my $47 paycheck now. I don't know, maybe the child lock is on. Come on. It's a pair of pink shorts in here. I simply must order. This guy gets his kicks by calling about used Vegas. Does it have three on the tree? Ooh. Hey, look there, it's my mom. Hi, nice. it's me, Fantasia. 
Thanks for calling. I need a new house pet to impress my friends. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now hurry before the zookeeper comes. Help me hide this iguana on my That's body. A... Uh, can I help you, miss? You, this is hell, right? Yes. Oh, okay. yes, Mr. Beastmaster. Something just crawled up my leg. Oh. oh, see if you can find it. I think you better come back to my office with me. Mother, get out of there, please. Now, wait a minute. Are you sure your office is in the baboon pit? Oh. Mr. Zookeeper, oh. what do you think you're um, doing? I'm expecting a this call. the children's petting zoo. <sighs> I have a new house pet for you, miss. <laughs> Why are we watching an insane woman? <laughs> oh, Mr. Zookeeper, I could never take a cockatoo that It's the hobgoblin with the laughing face. <laughs> now stop wasting your money calling me. I'm right outside your door. Is Fran Drescher Don't out keep there? Keep waiting, lover. Hey, here's an idea, guys. This should be fun. We he's bouncing. Look, I'm having fun. It's like <laughs> on the couch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we this is fun. <laughs> no, no, it's not fun. No, come on. No, it is. We hey. we. <laughs> it's not fun. It's all right. It's, I knew it wouldn't be. I knew it. It's okay. <laughs> Robert Plant. Oh. No. Wow. No. That is exactly what I want to look like. I don't need to see every part of the human anatomy outlined in spandex. I can trust it's all there. Where's Kyle? Did they split a keg of Robitussin? What did it get up? <laughs> did you guys see where he went? <laughs> no. Do you, do you kiss on the first date? Oh. I go all the way on the first date. <laughs> My kind of woman. Do I have a friend for you? My place or yours? Neither. We'll go to Reputation Road. <laughs> I'll drive. <sighs> I have to get my pants annealed first. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, lady, this is going to be so great. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm done. Sorry. So you guys don't know where he is then? <laughs> I sense the old man calling me. Kevin. Uh, do we have some time to get Pop Rocks and whipped cream? Just start the car. Reputation Road, here we come. Okay, you guys, I know a shortcut. Take uh, Western Avenue... Amy, quick, where's Reputation Road? We're up. <laughs> Daphne, where's Reputation Road? Uh, you go down to the end of the street, make a right, go through two traffic lights and up the hill, and there it is. Uh, so I've heard. <laughs> What's going on? I don't have time to explain. It's about those creatures. I've got to go across town and get Kyle. I want the rest of you to stay here. Don't make a move or do anything. And above all, don't fantasize about anything. Ah, the rake thing again, so the movie does make sense. It's a good movie, see? It's, yes. Now, see, here we see him leaving a parking space. Mm. It's an entirely different kind of shot. It's a good yes. movie. You know, girls, I can think of a fantasy right now. It's involving the number three. Three hours of CPO Sharky. <laughs> oh, like, like I'm the pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come to our club and discuss cleaning your bathroom tile. <laughs> what a clever ad. I'm going to show the girls at church. <laughs> ah, painted by the cast of Hee Haw. I guess. <laughs> oh, aggressive driving instructor. Hey. Uh huh. Again, we see the director falls back on parking. It works. Yep. It's good stuff. Oh, don't park here. Why not? It's reserved for Bob Packwood. You have to park near the edge if you want to go all the way. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, this is a really well thought out makeout spot. They must get public funding or something. <laughs> Ooh, strange zipper. How's that? 
perfect. Yeah. yeah, it was some shortcut you knew about. I never knew there was a road through the children's playground. There isn't. Ah, nothing like a good <laughs> child endangerment joke. <laughs> well, uh, what are you waiting for? Well, well once and for all, I, I really need to decide my orientation. <laughs> Wee! Yes. <laughs> Forget it. Fantasia, where are you going? Oh, look out for the hip bone. I wanted a better view of the city. Can you catch a venereal disease from a movie? <laughs> you can see it all from here. <laughs> Ooh, what just crunched? Oh, okay. <laughs> now, isn't that a lovely view? Oh, it sure is. The ZZ Top version of sexuality. Where are you going now? Just wait a second. You just keep watching the view. Keep watching. Just the hold view. tight yeah. and get ready for the ride of your life. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do it, Timmy. Yeah, she's the kind of girl you bring home to meet mother if mother's a cigarette retired hooker. <laughs> well. Well. Another date is pushing me off a cliff again. Oh. Rip. <laughs> oh, Did any help? Would you get back inside and wait for me? Time, don't move. You know, this is hell. You know, now when we meet people, we'll, we'll be able to report what hell is like. Yeah. It's true. We're almost there. Just think nasty thoughts while you wait. Yeah. Well, that is not a woman. That's David Lee Roth. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I feel grounded. There's a car pulling into a driveway. <laughs> Camaro, the official car of Peaked in High School. Her pants have sapped her energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Agnes DeMille dream ballet. I'm thinking of growing a mustache. What do you think? It's a bonsai Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Back pain is gone. Do it to me, baby. Sell me a quality muffler at a reasonable price. Oh, damn fool! What are you doing here? Hey, I want you to meet my girlfriend. Wait till you see her. Fantasia? Honey? Kyle, there's no girl. She was a figment of your imagination. No, she's not. She's just hiding somewhere. I, I told you, she's a shy girl. Sweetie? Shy girl? Uh, that bleach blonde witch almost killed you. But the car will do anything to get out of the movie. She was back there trying to push your right. car over the cliff. Hey, come on! In an unforeseen tragedy, the two actors were not in the car at the time of the crash. Damn. Makes an insurance claim for $700 worth of red shorts. Their car turned into a Lincoln and crashed. Whoa. Now do you believe me? Look at that guy wave that gel in front of the light. <laughs> well, come on. Let's get out there and wreck another scene. Come on. That's 30. 30 parking scenes. I've been counting. Mm. 30. Well, I gotta get my legs waxed. I'll discuss my phone bill with you later. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. They're gone! Mm. Drive us to Chuck E. Cheese. Mm. Marty Allen is attacking. <laughs> oh, you idiot, that's metric. Hit the creature! I'm trying to! Uh, really, the worst that would happen is one of those little plastic guys would fall out and you'd choke on it. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Hit the creature! <laughs> the puppeteer's knuckles must be very bloody by now. Idiot. This from an assistant security guard. The creatures broke loose. Are you guys okay? <sighs> We're doing just fine. Oh. What about Amy? Where is she? Yeah, she was acting kind of strange. What? Where is she? Well, she said she wanted to go to Club Scum. What? Mm. Why didn't you try to stop her? Mm. And I've seen the police. 
police arresting people there all the time for God knows what. Oh, no, come on. Let's hope it was a coitus-free van ride over to Club Scum. <sighs> 31. It's 31. The Club Scum courtesy van arrives. <laughs> cord, 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 other cord. Cord, 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 other cord. Gary Gaetti. Daphne, I think you got this all wrong. Amy would never come to a place like this. She won't even go through the mall parking lot by herself. You just listen to me. You guys have to have a certain kind of attitude when you're in this part of town. You gotta look like you belong, okay? Like the overacting extra there. I get it. Look, would you just listen to me and nothing will happen? Now look, I think one of us should hold all the wallets for safekeeping. You. Rick Sloan pioneered the standing in a stiff line near the trouble light shot. Be quiet and just be cool. Nick? Kevin? Daphne? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, part of me is laughing, I think. The, the part of me that hates life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, my insulin. Why, it's Debbie Scum, one of the scum girls. Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you guys think you're going? Where's your scum? We're looking for a girl in here. You know, somehow I don't think the girls in here are going to be your type, but I want you to uh, try the polo lounge up the street. <laughs> oh, Daphne. What happened to you? <laughs> Didn't see you back there. Hi, Road Rash. Long time, no see. Yeah, I was sorry to hear about your boyfriend coming back from the Army. You give me a call the next time he's on duty, okay? <laughs> oh, Road. <laughs> Ixnay on the older Okay. Look, bite me, A. What? Can we go in? Mm -hmm. Are you guys your friends at Daphne's? No, you're, you're complete filth. Get in there. Go for it. Knock yourselves out. <laughs> hey, Marge Simpson. You know, this scene really makes me want to go clubbing. The director of this film. Where is he? <laughs> Do you guys see her anywhere? No, would you just sit down before people start staring at us? I wish I wasn't staring at any of you. Well, say, try the sea bass tonight. Oh, it's a club scum Christmas. Oh, you must be here for the... Wet t-shirt contest tonight. Wet t-shirt contest? No, I could win that. Donkey mud wrestling? Donkey mud wrestling? Get lucky night? No. Ivan Lendl look like night? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The donkey mud wrestlers are supposed to use the rear entrance. Oh, you're the expert on that. I mean... Wow. Enjoy the show. Hey, Daphne. Yeah, club scum. Hi, Dad. So why are there lunch ladies serving tater tots back there? Sit down. They're right. It is scummy in here. Oh, you know those guys? It's just platonic. Oh, really? Oh, would you just shut up, okay? Hey, you guys aren't much of a help, you know. We're supposed to be looking for Amy. Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, Satan's on the phone. Called. That's my act. Good night. <laughs> Greetings, low life, and welcome to Club Scum. Hey, get off the stage, idiot! <laughs> but you're my manager. I don't know. I like him. Calling out around the scum. Are you ready for a brand new fill? It's coming in the streets. Ah, uh, this makes me want to dig out my extensive Adamant collection. Can we get rolls or breadsticks or something? Oh. I think it's Ron Reagan's band. He's, he's singing us the menu. That's great. Ooh. 
looks like she's dancing and laughing. <laughs> well then, sock it to me, Mike. <laughs> I find that very interesting. Say goodnight, Mike. <laughs> no. Spoil sport. Jeez. Oh, this is that Basque separatist rock I've heard about this. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah, this is one of those movies that's just as famous for its great soundtrack. Yeah, Hobgoblins is usually on a double bill with The Harder They Come. Mm -hmm. Who am I kidding? No, it isn't. <laughs> Jean-Paul Sartre and the Heartbreakers. What's weird is that Nancy Griffith was the opening act. <laughs> just don't get it. Pig sticker? Is that what they're saying? Pig Pig, Pig sticker, yeah. yeah I, I'm not sure. Pig liquor, I think. So, a man who licks pigs, or perhaps liquor made from pigs. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. I would not want pig liquor. Mm, I don't know. Pete. She's dancing and cleaning the acoustic tiles. The concert for herpes. <laughs> this is a Woody Guthrie song, right? Tell you about our drink specials tonight. Don't park in the alley or you'll get towed. While I'm up here, let me point out the restrooms. Kids Snickers. I'm not sure. Iced chicken? Mm -hmm. um, Oh, it's Swiss Knickers. Lint Kicker. No, Fish Picker. Fish, fish picker. picker. That's our one song. Good night, everybody. Fish, fish Picker. picker. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Fish Picker. Woo. Woo. Hi. Our special tonight is Poached Go to Hell. Can you guys something to drink here? Maybe later. There's a two-drink minimum here. Look, we're all underage, okay? Uh, okay, then uh, four goofy grapes. Road rash, come here, quick. Yeah, 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 what is it? None of these kids are 21 yet. All right. How many fake IDs we need here? Oh, jock itch, you're so helpful. Uh, this is I'm 40 and handicapped. So what? Mm -hmm. You got a problem with that, Junior? No, I'll limp. <laughs> Funny. And now, Club <laughs> Scum is proud to present a new headliner, appearing newly and nightly, Miss Amy Sin Sears. <laughs> Bala Poundstone. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh my god. If this is your god, you have a severe ontological crisis. Amy, get off the scene. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Yeah, low impact aerobics. Yeah. Put more clothes on. Ooh. I don't know, but I think it's sort of an improvement. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yes, girls, this is the only way to make your boyfriends like you. Great music. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Squire. Wow, you can see your armpits and everything. When's the poetry slam start? Um, am, am I next? Should I should I strip too? You know, she also does a great fan dance with an electric window fan. <laughs> you know, this is a great place to have your kid's birthday party. Take the kids to Club Scum Playland. The lesser Kennedy's on the town. Yeah, right down to the workout gear. Mm. Great, now try getting it away from him. I bet you showed her how to do that, huh, Daphne? Well, I, I am a good glove thrower. Where's one of those cat clocks? Well, what do you think, folks? Is she a hit or a miss? Now they should really add an S to that. Hits? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't 
They got a scum side seat. Stop interrupting the show. Drink your milk and finish your peas. She's gonna take off her hair. <laughs> that ziti was a little garlic. You gotta tell the chef. Red hot, uncensored Jamie Gertz. <laughs> Just as long as Demi Moore doesn't come out and start shaking her saline bags. <laughs> wow. Ribbit. Yep. How would you treat me like dirt? Like Phil dirt? Phil, your drinks on. No, they're four dollars each. Show everyone that I'm not wearing. I mean, under your underwear? Take me under the table huh. and use me. Uh -huh. Make me. Prop up the table if it's uneven. Your woman. My back's right outside. Yeah, it's a Ted speed. <laughs> I live right around the corner, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, Ooh. she's just drunk. She doesn't even know what she's saying. She's never even been on the back of a motorcycle. She's terrified of them. She's also afraid of light bulbs. Would you guys stop sitting there and help me? <laughs> Why do you help him, Daphne? You seem to have a way with all the men in this place. Had yeah, they brought in David Mamet to punch up the dialogue. Dr. Parker, what are you doing here? Oh, no. Daddy! Private. What's this? I'm out on a weekend pass. I hear no. Pixie's working tonight. You go out in public in full uniform. A real soldier dies with his boots on. This way, this way, no. <sighs> What's going on here? Just a problem involving some small predators, sir. Now, this movie's giving me current traumatic stress disorder. No, okay, hold on. I've I got an idea. Yeah. All right, All right come with me. Attack. Okay, go Come ahead, with me. Sir. You guys scram. All right, I'm going to take care of this. Private, losing command here. Now yeah, I'll make the decision. <laughs> we need to stage a diversion. <laughs> and I have just what you need. Ta-ta-ta-ta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I just hit this tape recorder right here and... <sighs> okay, here comes this guy. What's he up to? Boy, this is stupid. I wouldn't do that, would you? No. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Boy, that sure is a bad movie, won't you? It sure is, you know. Say, fellas, here's a little song about that movie, Hobgoblins. Are you kidding me? Then let's go. Hobgoblins, hobgoblins, what do you do with those hobgoblins? They're over here, they're over there, those darn hobgoblins are everywhere. Woo! Pinky, Rain, take a look at this. Something is different. As we sing the Hobgoblin song today. I don't know, sort of flat and lifeless. Uh, they're cardboard cutouts. Exactly, like they're cardboard cutouts. I don't know, I think they're rocking today. No, I, act I mean they actually are cardboard cutouts. Well, they're not that bad. You kidding? They're on fire. Listen, you idiots. And Pearl, you of course do. Uh, it's a fake bike and fake robots made of cardboard. Look. Look out, here comes one now. Watch out now, you little doodad. Something's sure going to happen. Well, I think we all learned a big lesson about hobgoblins today. 
Into that theater now, son of a! Oh, try to pull the wool over my eyes, indeed. Remember, I'm watching you, my friend. Nothing gets by me. Nothing. Here's a nice fat one for you. Oh, thank you. You bet. Bobo! Oh well. That was a good uh, thought, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of those wheels. Get out of here. <laughs> oh no! Hmm. That guy tipped his own table over. <laughs> he did it again! <laughs> and yet again! What is this? <laughs> the crowd here tonight! They're drinking too much Oval brand beer. Okay, folks, who wants a blender drink? Huh? Pixie, did I ever tell you that I was a, a talent scout for a major motion picture studio? Did I ever tell you that I'm a near of bad actors in the groin? Did I ever tell you that I've always been attracted to men of your stature? 5'9", 145 pounds. Oh, Pixie. Pixie. Oh. Oh, 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 right, Tad. Give me a break. <laughs> I don't know who's getting the worst of it here. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Hmm? Yeah. So why is she fanning him with a beer bottle? Jeez. I got one of them. Let's hope it's the right one. Oh, rubbish. Do it to me. Scour my oh. neck with your beard. Heaven, quick, you gotta stop him. Oh. All right, Daphne can stay, but I want you two out of here. And by out of here, I mean in here. You gotta stop him, look! Oh, no. Oh, boy. Still, you could make a case that this is a better film than Roadhouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Stand by for spit take. Spit take away. Opa! Opa! So let's show him. This where's bocce ball training comes in handy. Hobgoblins just waiting outside till this blows over. Oh, oh bat sweat, I love you. Go, team, go! <laughs> Peppy Le Pew came in the back door. Ooh. Ooh. Stop! Oh, Come back! Here. My t-shirt was close. I could smell it. Uh, who wants to see my new cordless drill? Anybody? Uh, there's a phone call for Rick. Any of you guys, Rick? What? What? Uh. Oh, oh, big man, you strangle a plush toy. Moments later... Oh, toe cheese. What are you up to now? Still fake your for me. Fake this! That's butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! There's Amy! We gotta help her finish stripping. Oh. Hey, Amy. Oh. Are you okay? I'm not sure why am I dressed like a rock video slut. It's a long story. I'll explain later. Stallone. Scum. Opens Friday. Yeah. Name, rank, serial number. Don't shoot me. 
I'm just an employee. I don't even book the talent here. Proof there is no life after drama club. Reuben Kincaid. Sergeant, can't you stop him? Why? This is the best training he's ever had. He can never get this at boot camp. You call that training? He could kill somebody. War isn't pretty. Daphne and Nick are still inside. We gotta try and help them. Maybe I should send Nick off to some third world country. That would give you all the time that you need. Let go well, maybe me. I should get Nick out of the picture altogether. Hmm? Nick, this is your sergeant speaking. Save the troops! Nick, That's no, it! Don't do it! So why hand grenades? Are there foot grenades? My fajita plate was really hot and I touched it! Ah! 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 Oh, it's okay. I wore my flame suit and jellied my skin today. No problem. Whew. The smell of all that smoldering back hair. <laughs> wow. The truck of soldiers is waiting outside. It'll be a dream come true. You feel a hand inside you. Uncomfortable, huh? Sure is. My dream can come true right now. My beautiful dream from my childhood of exploding another human being. I got the last of them. Now, uh, who are these guys? Have we seen them in the movie yet? Uh, the tall guy looks familiar, right? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. not, I don't know who it is. Huh. I don't know. Uh, foot odor too strong. Ugh. Could uh, someone make a joke about my promiscuity, please? Sweat gland surveys the carnage. Must have been a rowdy crowd tonight. <laughs> hey, mm. hey, hey, Mr. Sincere. Uh huh. You know, I really like that show you're doing inside. Hey, scumball, the show is over. Why don't you just climb back under your rock? <laughs> Daphne, I could have done that. Mm. Oh, sorry. Amy, I want you to know that I'll always be there for you. Well, you know, no one's ever really noticed me before like that. I mean, I've always just been thought of as Daphne's friend. This is the first time somebody came up to me like that. And I kind of liked it. Mm -hmm. Amy, I meant what I said. I'm going to prove it to you. Now, come on, Nick. Oh, yeah, he burned to death. Oh, well. Nick's a smoking husk right now. He won't mind if we take his van. Anyone want to stop at Carl's Jr.? Huh? Oh, why did Hoover lose? Oh. Where is he? The angel of death. I've been waiting so long. Hey, it's a common man with his common van. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, must be act three. Things are really moving fast now. Yep. Mr. McCready? Uh, we're out of the van now. We can start the scene. Hey there. Oh, no, Mike, who are these people now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We have a score to settle. But first, I'm going to hit myself with road flares. <laughs> uh. Um, no, I only work with rakes, okay? <laughs> Amy? This time I'm gonna make you proud. Ow. Ow, 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 my back. Ow, 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 ow. Filipino push fighting. <laughs> I think Kevin's proved his bravery. You know, would, would you tell him to stop before he kills himself? For God's sake, Kevin, stop before he kills you. Or after he kills you, would be fine by me. Imagine getting beat up by a guy named Kevin. <laughs> Now, come on, that move really requires the cooperation of the flippy. <laughs> we put a grenade down his pants, that works. Hey, 
Amy, look, I'm a man, did you see? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Uh oh. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes when we touch, the honesty's too much. Please. I shot you instead, is that okay? Uh, my finger's in the door! Ow! Oh, wow! Oh. And he is assumed into B-movie heaven. I'm sorry for sending you out on your own. I should have known the creatures would try to destroy you also. Where are they going now? Mm -hmm. Back to their home in the vault. Hurry, there isn't much time left. Kevin, wait. What? What what, what do you want? What, why didn't you call me back, though? Why didn't you call me away? So what'd you call me back for? Don't take too long. I'll be waiting. Let's go! I think he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Damn, I thought she was into me. Slutting's fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, slower, more bandy legged. Let's go for a ride on the Clark O Matic. Quit screaming like that. right about them. They're back inside. And they're smoking hams. Well, maybe we should get closer and lock them back inside again. No, I've spent 30 years guarding them. But I was fired from my job tonight. I won't be around here to keep an eye on them. You were fired? No, he was the backbone of this place. Well, maybe I could guard them from now on. Oh, no. I don't want you to throw your life away the way I had to. Destroy your life in your own way. There is a better way. <laughs> Did you find them? Yeah, they're back inside the vault. What are you going to do to them? I don't know. Kevin, did I ever tell you what I did in the war? No. Shot off my uh, toe and got out. Munitions. Oh, it was supposed to unlock the van door. Whoops. I just blew up the studio accountant for no reason. <laughs> Isn't it ironic that they should pick a movie studio to land? I think. Unless they figured they, they belonged in a dream factory. <laughs> Come away from the weird security guard. You are my hero tonight. You got some spinach stuck in your teeth. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure. She's made her decision and they're going ahead with the sex. Hey. Daphne? Yeah. Hmm? Well, this is for you. I, I blotted up some grape juice for you. <laughs> really? No, no one's ever given me flowers before. Oh, but there's lots of things I could show you for the first time. <sighs> Nick. <sighs> Nick? <sighs> Yeah, baby! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Told you guys oh, I had everything sorry. under control. Well. <sighs> Daphne? Nikki? Van! <laughs> so the result of his complete immolation is just minor redness and irritation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call the Sears and Roebuck and get some dry goods. Hello, Mr. Comstock. Yes, I, I realize what time it is. No. I, I'm sorry to wake you, sir, but there's been an accident at the studio. We made hobgoblins. The film vault blew up. Yes, it, it, the building is still smoldering. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, I realize about the insurance, but yeah. you fired me earlier. Uh -huh. There was no one on duty of course not. when it happened. Uh, guys, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I use your phone? You know, Mike, one thing I learned from this movie is that Daphne is a slut. 
And Amy wasn't fun until she became a slut. Well, that's the fun message Mike, up to the... A little help here? What's he up to? Yeah, what do you need? Come over here. Rick Sloan's out here and he needs a little help. Rick Sloan? Yeah, Rick Sloan, the director. What? He's here right right now? Yeah, the director of today's movie, Rick Sloan, wanted to explain a few things about his film. Hello? Am I speaking English here? Gee, is it me? Okay, it just, just seems a, a little weird is all. Rick Sloan <laughs> actually being here? Oh, he is. Oh, oh I see. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Rick Sloan is, is lighter than you'd think. Oh, he? oh, is he, Mike? Well, I guess uh, I had no preconceived notions about Rick Sloan's weight. I guess I'm not a racist like you are, Mike. Well, hey, boy. Uh, so, Rick Sloan, director of Hobgoblins, uh, how are you? The crow. The what? Perhaps you could uh, uh, be of some assistance in helping Mr. Rick Sloan explain some of the things about the film? Well, hey, he seems nice, but I've never met the guy before. Oh, would you just do the voice, Crow? Oh, right, right, right. So, Mr. Rick Sloan. Hello, and how are you? (laughs) Good, good. Say, why don't you explain to the good folks um, exactly what... Good! May I just say how nice it is to meet you all. My accommodations are just lovely, and everyone's been so nice. Rarely have I been treated... Can we just please talk about your film? Certainly, certainly. My film, yes. (laughs) Yes, yes. Okay, when you came up with the idea for Hobgoblins, were you high on crack? Say yes. Yes, yes. I had been doing quite a bit of crack that day, as I recall. (laughs) Yes, yes, good, good. That helps me understand, if just a bit. Now, another question I'm sure everyone who has seen the movie Hobgoblins has on their lips. And forgive me if I don't phrase this in just the right way. Are you, in fact, a total idiot? Say yes. Uh, Yes, yes, I am an idiot. That is correct. How penetratingly intelligent of you to notice. You know, Servo, I couldn't help but notice. Stay out of it, Nelson. Okay, right. Now, director of this film, Mr. Rick Sloan, another question that I've been asked to put to you by the legions who have enjoyed your film, Hobgoblins. Uh, Did someone open up your skull and carefully replace your brains with rat droppings? Say yes. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh, yes, yes. Once again, your insight is quite correct. I was home one night, right Uh before the filming of my hit film, Hobgoblins, when I received an unsolicited call suggesting I try their service, wherein they replaced my brains with rat droppings. (laughs) It was a good deal, so I said yes. Ah, good, good. Another mystery solved. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, Actually, (laughs) Servo, I think you have time for another question. Oh, really? Uh... Oh, uh, gee, I wasn't really prepared. Um, Well, uh, Rick, how are you then? As I stated before, I'm good, thank you. Good. So, uh, Rick Sloan. (laughs) Good. Uh, Do you have any hobbies at all? Nope. Really? No no hobbies? None. Okay, you're off the hook. We (laughs) gotta get out of here. Thank you. (laughs) Bye, Rick. Good work, Servo. Nice job. Hey, Clamp. Hey there, Mike. You know how we really didn't care for that stupid movie today? Yeah. Well, by using our time machine, I went back to the early 80s, and I took care of our little Rick Sloan problem, if you know what I mean. What? <laughs> Servo, you don't, you don't mean you could... Yeah, I you... sure did, Mike. I hunted down Rick Sloan, and I kicked him, Mike, right in his shin. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. It's gruesome, I know, but I had to take matters into my own hands. Well, I thought, you'd, you know, you'd gone back and... Terminated him, you know. What do you mean, terminate? Terminate? What are you? Are you nuts? I hate guns. I hate them. How could you ever get that idea? Man, I don't know. Well, anyway, by going back and giving our Mr. Sloan a firm, swift blow to the shin, I have changed the course of events, and Hobgoblins is no more. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys. Huh? I, I'm doing my uh, biography of Rick Sloan here, doing huh? my research, huh? and listen to this. Huh? Rick Sloan says the inspiration for his film Hobgoblins is like a stout red automaton kicking him in the shins. Stout? Stout? He says stout? That bastard, I'm going back to kill him. Uh, no, you, know, you know, I gotta put a child lock on our time machine. Good idea. Mike, Servo, Art, I took away the couch and brought it back down here. You are all old enough to be taking some responsibility for some of our things. Couches do not grow on trees. Hey, can I have some of your Welch's grape juice? Sure, if I can have some of that seal coat. You bet. <laughs> there was a nice settee I was thinking of sending up there. there. There was a particular office chair I know you would have enjoyed, Crow. But I don't know that I can ever trust you with any home furnishings ever again. Bobo, brain guy, who wants candy? Oh, I do. I do. Me. I don't mean to yell. (laughs) 
I just really want everyone to stay off the couch. Thank <laughs> you.